Well, this is the 1964 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia convertible. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do much in the way of uh, documenting this conversion just because uh, there's just so much going on. We just uh, are so busy that uh, we, we just didn't have the opportunity to to do much in the way of videos. So this is just going to be a, a final video on this vehicle showing the outcome. Just kind of showing you what the video, what the, what the vehicle looks like. And so we'll open things up and and take a look. But let's look at the dash first. What we have is the uh, the ignition is uh, right here. We'll turn it on. You see the tack come to life, and uh, our 12 volt gauge is on. Find if I can get some out any glare. The skylights create a lot of glare. So we can see that the DC to DC converter is on. It's drawing a little bit of juice. We'll turn on the uh, the controller. So then the Curtis 840 display comes alive. AC 51 in this and we're drawing a few more amps out of our pack now here's reverse turn that on that that's our re electronic reverse and let me get in here and show you the tack and the dash We're in neutral. So you can see that the uh, regen's not activated at the moment because we're above a certain voltage. 149.7 this pack charges to 154 and uh, from 146 I believe it is or 147 to 154 um, you're not going to have regen so this allows the fact that this uh, owner lives 4,000 feet above where they work and do everything else so this is to ensure that the battery pack is not overcharged through regen. So once the battery pack is completely charged, the uh, of course the charger shuts off and the regen is shut off until you get down to your nominal voltage. Once you've done that, you're going to have regen again until, all the way up until it hits that 154 volts. Once you hit 154, the regen will shut off shut off and that's just to protect the battery pack from being overcharged so kind of nice to have the uh, tack in the dash that's aftermarket was in the vehicle we just retained it so let's take a look at uh, some of the other features of the vehicle. The Carmen Ghia uh, convertibles feature this, uh, at least in 1964, this locking uh, release for the bonnet. So that opens the bonnet. The rear battery pack, this is uh, the seat back 
and it's just sitting on top of our, our, our battery pack. I can lift it up. And there's carpet on the bottom side and got a little carpet dust on top of that now, but that's the rear battery box. You saw, saw that in previous videos. This just sits there nicely. I don't know what the owner will, will do. Um, but anyway, upholstery matches. So let's look under the bonnet. Well, the owner didn't have the uh, cover for the dash, you know, the behind the dash. Um, don't know if they'll add that later or what, but uh, without it in place you can see uh, the electronics that we added. So we've got our our power relay, we've got our terminal for all of our uh, unswitched 12 volts, we got our fuse block, terminal strip, our AVC2, our uh, safety uh, interlock relay, and we have our, our uh, charger regen control relay on the very end there. We've got our master disconnect switch over here. We've got our inertia switch, charge port. We've got our 2.5 kilowatt charger. We have a AGM auxiliary battery. On top of that is a trickle charger. We hardwire trickle chargers into all of our conversions. That way you can just simply plug it in and uh, leave indefinitely and maintain that auxiliary battery. Let's take a look in the engine compartment. Well, in the engine compartment, we've got uh, on the right hand side there, we've got our coolant reservoir. We've got our controller here in the center. We've got our throttle next to the uh, controller with a secondary return spring. We've got our shunt. We've got our main contactor. We've got some terminal strips and uh, this is the uh, uh, pre-charge relay, pre-charge resistors on the back side of this panel and this is our reversing relay. We saw the reverse button on the uh, on the dash. Our coolant pump is behind this panel, and underneath is our radiator. And this is the AC 51 1239 controller. So that's. Uh, that's it. You know, these conversions are very simple to do. What you remove is a thousand times more complicated than what you're going to put in. And so, um, you can learn how to do this yourself. And we offer workshops both online and in person our three-day hands-on conversion workshops to teach you how to do this. And there's no faster way to learn how to do this than to attend a three-day hands-on conversion workshop. And there's lots of ways that you can do this as far as aesthetics go, but um, we teach you all the ins and outs. We're, we're more, you know, the workshops aren't about aesthetics, they're about functionality, safety. So we teach you how to do it correctly and safely and simply. So you have a safe, simple, and reliable conversion. But there's no way to go from not having done one previously to knowing all the ins and outs than take a three-day hands-on conversion workshop. It's three intense days, but you will 
learn everything you need to convert your own vehicle. Whether it be a, a VW or a Porsche, or a Jag, or a, a, a Land Rover, a, a, a Ford Mustang, doesn't matter. Or even a vessel, or a motorcycle. All the principles and all the information that we provide is enough for you to be able to do your own conversion of anything from a, a aircraft to a vessel to a vehicle. Now, whether you're doing this for a customer or for yourself, we recommend that you document everything about the conversion. So we provide an operator's manual. And it has um, all the information that is, uh, is necessary for someone else to service and, uh, and operate this vehicle. Uh, we also provide video and uh, photos of the process. And of course, uh, important information, operating procedures, information about the conversion, instrumentation, storage procedures, component legend, so you know where everything's located, schematic diagram, Like flip these pages, throttle information, even the uh, you know the performance graph, legend for the terminal strips and fuse block, everything, and then information about the charger, the cells. Every component that goes into this is, uh, is provided. So we recommend that you do that, whether you're, you know, like I said, doing this for yourself or for someone else, having that information is important.